Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RSTV. Joining me on the sofa today are the Guardians, or three of the Guardians. We have Maud Osborne. Hello. We have Maud Doctor. Afternoon. And we have Maud <laughs> Joe. Hello. Now, they're here to talk a little about the aquarium, the player-owned house room that was voted for in player power polls, and later on, a little about uh, adding adamant and rune dragons. That's the one, yeah, a little bit of the, the, the poll, the rune labs. winner of a rune winner. labs. Yes. Uh, Paul. So before we go into that though, because this is about the aquarium for the most part, we're that's what we're hoping anyway. We're going to run a couple of contests okay. today. So we've got some prizes for the best fish pun. We'll be winning a J Mod signed party hat, purple party hat, it's very nice. And then, of course, for the worst fish pun, we have this magnificent. <gasps> Eat, sleep, skate, repeat <laughs> t-shirt, oh. which no doubt you'll just be itching to win. So get those fish puns flowing, and our RSTV elves will be checking the chat and noting the best and the worst and the most execrable, and we'll be giving out prizes later on. Basically, just have a whale of a time with it. <laughs> you, you're not eligible. <laughs> this I'm just, is I'm not just setting down a standard. Points that I expect everybody to either beat or get their Standard or baseline? <laughs> baseline. I think the standard is wrong because the whale's actually a mammal, not a fish. Oh! <laughs> not in RuneScape because <laughs> magic. <laughs> Wizard did it. <laughs> so, like, so whales confirmed then? Yeah, whales confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, let's, let's move on then to, to talking about the aquarium and an overview of how it came about and why it's in the form it's in. Yeah, the, with construction, it'd been in kind of a while since we'd done a ring. I think we've been sitting there for thinking that we would update construction, the whole POH first, before we did a room. And of course, you can wait and you can wait, and it's such a big task to do that. So we thought um, we were given the task of creating a new POH room, and we thought the best way of doing it was to throw it open to a poll. We had several ideas, we all liked them. I remember us sitting into a, in a room and just kind of sp spitballing a number of things. Um, and one of them was Aquarium, which was our kind of, I don't know if uh, people have played like Animal Crossing and things like that, where you had your museum, where you're collecting things and adding things to it. We had one that was a kind of, uh, you it was a hotel, you attract people to it by putting certain um, items in your POH room. And we thought, and we put it out to a poll and Aquarium won ahead of Greenhouse, which, you know, we thought would win, strangely enough. That's, that's always been a popular suggestion. That said, yeah. I have seen the Aquarium one posted by players before. So. Yeah, and you see Rune Labs, like uh, the Greenhouse has popped up on Rune Labs before, um, since then, you know, so people do like some of those ideas. Um, initially, we were wondering, right, what can we do with Aquarium? But we kind of explored it, kind of added more stuff. And uh, in particular, things like, what, if, what would it be like if a player could stomp around this aquarium? You know, like kind of see the sharks floating about them. Because I think a lot of players were imagining something that was just on a wall somewhere, you know, that you could tap the glass and... You should um, never do that. No, you never do that. Scares the fish. And <laughs> we just thought we'd play with expectations a little bit. And that led to a design document, because there have been two poles. Yes. Uh, one of which was the room itself, another one was what a great white shark. One of the, yes, you pulled one of the fish on yeah. the previous stream. Um, so the, we said in the original poll that there would be a new fish. We shot ourselves in the foot there. We had, we had to do a new fish. And of course then there was finding the niche, because there's so many fish across the tiers. And finding something that would still be valuable and useful for those in combat, for those who are um, doing various things that they do with fish. Um, and um, yes, and, and so we found this niche of passive abilities, of regen abilities. And we've, uh, we've attached that to it. So the shark has a sushi mechanic, which you kind of gain health over a period of time. Similar kind of to the Baron Shark. Cool. And obviously the Great White Shark is quite photogenic itself. Got a duck a little bit. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. so we have uh, the existing shark there, Great White Shark, which is new, and um, a little snub-nosed pet, which you can just see over my, my right shoulder, um, that will be floating next to the player, just kind of oh, moving. Very, nice. very Follow fish-like. Followers in mid-air. Yes. Excellent. And a good chance to model something properly badass. Like, is <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So, so you mentioned... Uh, this design document. Yes. Now that's gone out to the players yesterday morning? Yeah, very recently, just yesterday. And um, you've been gathering feedback ever since? Yeah, I probably should be doing other things, but I couldn't help but kind of just graze over that forum post. And so we've kind of put them into three piles. Um, those piles are things we would like to do, things we need to discuss about whether or not we want to include them, if we have time to include them, and the pile of things that we just can't do right now. 
and um, I've got a meeting on, on Thursday with you guys where these guys will say, yes, we can do it, no, we can't do it, or... A wizard did it. A, w a wizard will do it. A wizard will do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's unusual. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> a new form of project development for us. <laughs> it's very hopeful project development. You know, right. We don't have time, but maybe a wizard will do it if we're lucky. But so, yeah, so we put no, those in three parts. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of, what I really want to do is get onto that forum and just kind of let people know which, whose ideas are being incorporated. And hopefully we can talk a little bit about those, those ideas. Yes, that would be, <laughs> <that'd> be, <laughs> nice. be good. So yes, bound, bounded by what's possible to build, what's possible to model. Exactly. Uh, I take it you'll be taking the outcomes of that and pushing that back to the players to, to refine yeah. the design documents. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, it's come in a weird place, the Aquarium, actually. With the Elf City, you had the design documents that were prepared like kind of months before it came out. You'll see now that Aquarium is actually quite far progressed. So there's, only, there's more limitations to what we can include, but we can and do want to include some stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Mm, yes, because I've got some, uh, got some questions here from, from elsewhere. Uh, there's some concern that, that this will take months to, to make a, a new room that's, that's got all these features in, but it'll be absolutely huge. Yeah, th they've looked at the design document, assumed that it is massive, and thought, well, couldn't that time have been invested into a construction rework? Um, what do you think, my doctor? <laughs> I think they'll be surprised at what we're about to show. Okay. I think it's important to take away from this that the design document may seem quite dense, and it was densely packed <laughs> before okay. this. I mean, we actually trimmed a few things out. It's not actually as large as you think in terms of development. I think you're going to hit me. <laughs> 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 well, but, but there's that feeling of uh, that maybe this is going to be months and months of development, like you know, a three-month project. It's not the case. Not the case at all. I was quite impressed in the last sprint review, because obviously we work in yeah. like sprints. It's at the end of every two weeks, we see what everyone else has been doing, exactly. make sure everything's on track. I was very impressed with what I saw last time. You yeah, I think you quickly. can forget that the aquarium is um, showing a lot of fish that they have already seen It's uh, in their, while they've been fishing. It uses a bit of surface world fishing. Yeah, so it's just the inventory icon. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this cold shark just kind of moving around in a square. Um, you're about to see that, it's beautiful. Yes, we will be showing that off in game very shortly. <laughs> yeah. So... So you, again, you mentioned building your collection, Animal Crossing style, or, or any of these yeah. unlock all the, all the bits. Um, that's a fairly major part of, of the design document, is going around and collecting. Yeah. Um, how much of that can we see today? Or how, how much of, of the tiers of things to collect are you planning to show off? Because I doubt that you'll be showing off everything. Um, I think we can show off probably 75% of the assets. Mm. Um, there's some things we don't want to show, we'll, we'll hold off and, and wait until launch. Um, but I'll sh take you through some of the things that we've built already. And um, I think it's nice because you can see a, a snapshot of where we are with it. And some of the assets aren't, aren't finished at all, but I think it's quite nice just to see that, you know, you, it's, cl it, it's clear that the project is midway through development. Um, so, yeah. Excellent. Well, in that case, I'll let the two of you go over and get set up on the demo machines while I we have Dave chat. with That's it. more questions from the peoples. Well, yeah, let's cop on. So, one from Twitch, so infamous one. Yeah. So infamous one. Well, uh, asks, is 99 fishing going to be required? No, no, 99 fishing isn't going to be required. So the, the update itself has um, a construction requirement to start it. Um, you're now going to test me on what that construction level is. Um, I believe it's somewhere around the 63 level, I think. Um, final so it's answer? Sorry? Final answer? Fin let's go for that as a final answer. Players do tell me if I'm wrong, which is inevitable. Uh, yeah, so there's a, that is your requirement to start gaining prawn balls while fishing, and also to gain those golden fish eggs. Um, but the fish that you can collect fish eggs for, which are the things that kind of unlock fish in your aquarium, run from all the way from level, uh, kind of, you know, your, your salmons, etc., from river fishing, all the way up to rock tail. Um, so there's a broad range of fish. And yes, there is stuff for players at 99. Currently, we've got a kind of a bonus for barehanded fishing, um, great white sharks that only unlocks at level 99 fishing. So there is something there for max fishers, as well as if you are level 99 fishing, you get 50 prawn balls, which are kind of our treasure chests of this update. Uh, prawn balls, obviously, the terrible pun there. 
um, you unwrap these prom balls and you'll get 50 of them which gives you 50 rewards so there's something there for a max player who possibly won't want to do a huge amount of fish grind right but we've wanted for some time to get exactly. stuff in at the highest and there's still the comp, comp and trim requirements with this as well but not hugely unobtainable um, we've kind of done some maths on this there's you know you, you're probably looking at about 30 hours of um, content with this to get that trim or comp okay so a d hefty update but not that's it yeah not one of the most terrible and it's all in the background as well this is a passive update it's meant to feel fun while you're already fishing it enriches fishing right. it's not necessarily something that you would sit down and just work your way through it's there to be passively done one more before we go over also yeah. from twitch we've got nate dog 85,137 asking, will the fish in the aquarium be able to be fought? <laughs> I've seen some beautiful ideas of, some of my favourite ideas have been, can I wrestle a shark? I think there are people who want to punch sharks on the nose, which is obviously how you stop a shark. Um, there's also a, an idea of having the aquarium underneath my dungeon kind of entrance, right. so that we could, um, you could pull a lever, so in your throne room maybe? Pull a lever and it would just drop, drop into, into, the, shark into the shark pit, which it Paul, which is obviously a beautiful idea, but it might not be feasible for this update. Um, I've been expecting you. <laughs> also, I, I don't understand why our sharks don't have lasers on their faces. Um, that is something that we will try to implement in feedback. <laughs> no, we, we won't. We won't. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> With that reassurance, let's go over now to Mod Joe on the. Uh, development tools that he uses to map the game. Hello. Um, so, I thought we haven't really shown the tools we use as part of our day-to-day -day job much um, on these live streams, so I thought this might be a good opportunity to, to show the workflow. Um, if you can see here, this is my folder of cool concept art. Um, and one of the things that I was doing is working with Mod Alex on all of the environment props. Um, so some of the things we some of these things we haven't modelled yet, um, but one thing I was working on this morning was this uh, treasure chest. So we use 3D Studio Max to do all of our main modelling. Um, and so all I would basically do is um, you get the concepts from the concept art team and uh, basically uh, convert those into 3D. So uh, it's not 100% finished, but this is what I'm currently working on. Um, we'll do an open version and Basically, when you go into your aquarium, you'll be able to open your chest and get some loot. Um, these are some of the other props um, that I've been working on. Um, there's a mermaid purse and an oyster. Um, again, you'll be able to map these down in your aquarium and then get some, uh, get some rewards from them. Um, so when we finish doing our models in 3D Studio, um, what we would then do is move over to our in-house mapping software. We call this one MapEd. Um, and you can see this is a map square that I've loaded up. This is, um, this is Lumbridge. And you can basically see an overview of an entire map square. You can put down whatever you want. You can put down NPCs, objects, um, change the height of the terrain, um, change the blocking, uh, change the lighting. And I think you can do quite a lot with it. Um, if I give you a very quick overview, basically the entire game is broken up into the grid. And this is where you need to... Um, be careful of, make sure that you, you know, we don't create problems. Um, so as a player, you can you know, walk around and you know, not clip through things. Um, we just got a new feature from our awesome tools guys where we can see um, collision. So if you look here, um, this, is, this tile is shaded red, which means that I can't walk through it, which is really good. And also you can see I can't walk through, through these trees um, or that tree stump or the river, which is also good. Um, so what we would do for the aquarium project, w once we've modelled our assets, we'd uh, basically put them into the engine and check they, uh, they look okay. So I am going to show you some of that now. Um, so if I go to this map square. So in the Guardians team, we've got four artists. Um, myself and Mod Alex are the environment modellers. And we've got um, an animator, Mod Hing, and a character artist, Mod Damien. And uh, he has basically modelled all of these fish. So we took the, the inventory models um, that have been in the game for, well, since forever, and we did, we did do some concept for them. So actually, I'm not going to show you any concept because I might accidentally show um, something that you're not supposed to see. Um, but basically, Damien's done a fantastic job of bringing these fish to life to create higher 
um, high res high res textures for them. And these will be the fish models that you'll be able to see animated and swimming around in your aquarium. So we've got the salmon and the trout. Um, we have the cave fish and rainbow fish and monkfish. And that is the rock tail. Thank you. <laughs> I did know. I know this stuff. Um, and that would be the tu I know this stuff, Dave. <laughs> Um, that would be the, the lava eel, the sturgeon, the swordfish, and the shark. Well, I say a shark because we now have another shark in the game, um, which is even bigger and better. Um, so Damon has done a fantastic job of modeling these. I've been working with, um, with Alex on the environment stuff, so I'll show you some of the environment things we've done. So first of all, in your um, player in-house aquarium room, you have this new object called a, a bathysphere. And um, you'll be able to use this. This is basically what takes you down into the aquarium. So there's two models for these. This is one on the surface, and then this is the one that will be dropped down into the aquarium that you'll be able to walk, walk out on. We've also got some new um, seaweed, some kelp. Um, these are the, um, uh, the oyster and the mermaid's purse that you saw earlier in Max. This is what they look like when they're actually in the engine. You see the engine like creates proper shadows for them and everything. Um, so we've got some other things like you know rocks, anchors, um, we've got these uh, sea troll eggs. I think the uh, concept for that only came through yesterday. Alex has already finished modeling it, which is cool. Um, we've got a plug here. Um, I think there's more information about what the plug does in the design brief. Um, that's the chest. Um, and then some of these, um, that's um, something you can put down from the, from the fishing guild. And then some of these are sort of fun models that you can decorate your aquarium with. So there's going to be a model of a castle. This is an example. Um, the castle isn't actually finished. It's not going to look like this. This is a castle that we grabbed from another map square. And we just wanted to see what it was going to look like in the aquarium. So we just grabbed it. Um, and it's quite nice. The map editor integrates with Max. So if I click on this model, you can see in the list it shows up. And then I can just press a button to open it in 3D Studio. And hopefully it will come in. It's quite a big model, actually. To be fair, I probably should have picked a smaller one. There you go. Um, so and once it's in um, 3D Studio, I can basically you know, do whatever I want. I'm not going to break it, but um, you know, it's quite nice that we can kind of go from 3D Studio back to MapHead. Um, some of the other things we've done, so we've got Canon. Um, we wanted, and you might have seen the concept for this already, White Wolf Mountain. This is not the final model, um, because we've just added a wolf to a rock. Um, so the real one will look much better. What more do you want? OK, it is a wolf on a mountain. We do want to maybe add some bubbles coming out of his mouth as well, which could be quite cool. Good. Um, this is the Virago statue. Um, so this is finished. Um, I think it's looking pretty sexy. And Alex has added the um, seaweed to it. We've got a jungle mask. Um, we've got a, s a statue of a stone head. This, um, yeah, these, these ones are finished. The ships, you can get basically fore and aft. And I mean, you could put them down like however you wanted if you wanted to make them go the other way. Um, just for comedy, you could like, hey, what happened here? I don't know, don't want to know. But yeah, um, and then some coral. So this is another example of an unfinished model. We'll do a, um, a slightly more improved version of that one. And then you can also get a, a, um, a Viking uh, longboat um, prow as well. And again, that is not the finished model. But you can see, if I sort of get a bird's eye view, that's a snapshot of some of the models that we have made and, and will be continuing to make for this project. Um, one of the things that I was quite excited about working on this project, we've not done underwater much before. I know there's a couple of other map squares where you do go underwater, but I wanted to play with a few more effects. So I've done some new effects here. Um, the first one, uh, we did a new particle effect um, for bubbles, because um, I thought the existing bubbles um, that are in game don't use the, the don't make the most of the particle system. So we've just got some new particles that we'll be able to add in. So maybe when you open the chest or the mermaid purse, or if you're walking around, maybe the bathosphere's got a bit of a leak, we'll be able to add in these environmental effects here. And we can just add these wherever we want. Um, also, to sort of simulate underwater, I've worked on some new lighting here. So some light shafts which will animate. And then here, we've just got some, some caustic effects. Now these don't look very exciting just on their own, but I have mocked them all up and put them all together. Um, and if you add 
color grading and lighting, you get more of an underwater kind of effect. So this is the kind of thing we're, we're trying to go for. So it's just a bit softer and hopefully sells more the fact that you're underwater. And I can do things like I can turn off the color grading, I can turn off bloom, um, and that kind of you know, it sharpens the image a bit more. Um, but that is basically um, an overview of all of the environment character work we're doing. What we're going to do now is move over to Dan, and he's going to show all of this actually in the client and working. Yep. Here we go. Let me just press this special button over here. Hello. Right. OK. Um, we've just got a, a mock setup house here we can go to. You should all be familiar with this now. Here's the uh, uh, the way down we've got here. So if we go down here, I think we've now got the uh, uh, all the uh, the fish in now. So if we have a look, here we go. So this is with all the effects on with all our lovely fish. If I see what we've got here, would you like out play name the fish again? That's clearly the rainbow fish. Rainbow fish. That is the swordfish. That is the salmon. And monkfish. Monkfish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you could, yeah. You're gonna be you're gonna be a marine biologist by the end of this. Awesome. I feel. So yep. So this is what the environment looks like as it's basic with the, all the uh, uh, the fish in. However, if we head back up to the surface. Oh, I've yeah, forgotten that. Nah, there we go. Um, we are going to allow you to customize the layout. So what we can do is, I want a treasure chest there, and I want one of those cannons. What do you think, Joe? Here? Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, let's let's turn it around a bit so we can. Can you have two cannons facing each other? Uh, assuming the cannons are facing the same way as the arrows, we can certainly try. There we go. Uh, let's have one of those stone heads. Let's have one of those there. And another treasure chest. Let's, let's down here. OK. So you design your uh, your layout down there. And then let's go into the, there you go. Oh, Yes, there we go. We've got cannons facing each other. And you've got your treasure chests. And your stone head is over there as well. So yep. I, I think we need more cannons. Definitely. So if we. Uh, Go back here. We'll we'll get rid of these, and let's let's have lots of cannons, lots of ca lots of cannons. There we go. There we go. Oh, we've got cannons now. <laughs> cannons everywhere. So yep. Uh, at the moment, you've only got a. Uh, uh, We've got three things working, but we're hoping to have lots more in there. Different types, as you saw, with all the other assets. Um, some you only better have one of, some you have three, some maybe more of that. But we've got lo lots of things for you to put in your aquarium to make it look nice. And your friends will be able to come down here and explore the aquarium with, uh, with you as well. So they can see how you've laid out your, well, in this case, cannons everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we've got anything else we... Yeah, if you sure. would you mind going down there one more oh, time? Oh, back down. Um, so one other thing is like this: the walls here aren't finished. We're not we're not really happy with them. So um, there's still a lot we want to kind of um, to improve. Maybe add some more ground decoration. Um, but I think once you've got the ability to put down all of the props that you know we've just looked at, um, and maybe some other ones as well, I think every person's aquarium will be unique to them, and you know it'll be a nice nice easy way of editing it. Yeah. Um, just to answer a few questions that I've seen. Um, you'll only be able to have one aquarium. So there's one surface, and that automatically gives you access to your standard aquarium. Uh, and surprisingly enough, it's got to be on the ground floor because floating aquariums, not that great. Um, have we got any other limits on this? I don't think that's it, really, isn't it? Um, no, I, the only thing I can think of is the quality of the fish puns uh, on the, the stream have, have been really good. Um, from the players. So but we want really bad ones as well, remember? Mm. <laughs> well, Dave wants really bad ones. So. Someone just asked if we can get Nemo. Why aren't we doing that? Dave? Nemo? Nemo? Yeah? Clownfish? Yeah, Why don't we have clownfish? <laughs> okay, that's going to happen, definitely. You know that we wouldn't help ourselves, we'd have to make real clowns. <laughs> no, you'd actually make a clown that swims and call it a clownfish, wouldn't Brilliant. you, Dave? Yes. I think that's us. 
Yep. Over to you, Dave. Excellent. You're back with us on the sofas. And while those two rejoin us, I've got some more questions from the forums. Uh, Farmer asks, uh, basically, why is there no addition to the room limit to go with this? So, my this doctor, limit. why is there no addition to the room limit with this? Oh, unfortunately, there is uh, a limit because the uh, player in housing has been around for a while now. Um, and in order to add, a, in, well, increase the limit, uh, we would have to change quite a lot and it would cause a delay in the release by not an insignificant amount. So, rather than... It's a real technical technical obstacle. Yeah, ra rather than basically having to rip out the whole lot and then put it back in again for basically the cost of one room, we didn't deem it worth it. If we're looking to do more with the PH, it would be done as part of another yeah. project. Fair enough. Do keep those fish puns coming, guys. The contest is still running. Uh, one here from everyone, it says. So <laughs> that's not a character. I don't know that's if that's mean. a screen name or just <laughs> everyone is asking this It question. seemed roughly once per forum post. Where are the turtles, the fishing trawler fish, manta rays presumably, uh, jellies, carambois, dungeoneering fish, mermaids, krakens, goldfish and pet crab? Yeah, so a running theme was, why wasn't X fish included? Um, I, th I think we could probably um, see how this update goes down, and then, you know, it is, it is you have designed it to be scalable, um, to an extent. To um, an extent. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, if, if this is something that um, players are really excited about, um, and, you know, and use, then this is yeah. something that it is possible to add more things into the future, and those sound like awesome suggestions yeah. for the next update. For the next time round, excellent. One, one, two. one of the problem with adding more things in is eventually you'll have so many fish and crabs and things in there, you won't be able to actually see your aquarium. <laughs> is the main Fish concern because they all, they all sort of swim above yeah. you so eventually you get so crowded it will lose its effect well just the sharks eating they'd have to kind of cull so you'd, you'd have to build an entire ecosystem it's, it's the whole ecosystem would have to work that pH way pH balance the little dropper <laughs> for yeah yeah I like that I mean, one of the important things to remember um, is that this is just the start um, it's been designed so that more things can come in um, the objects the locations in the in the aquarium too we've actually put a little bit of space in there so that um, we could have some more things maybe you know if you I just imagine ports expansions, dropping in port things you know you can imagine it happening in the future have your ship way anchor inside your you've aquarium. got it so that leads us quite nicely to another one from the Twitch, which is how will the fish interact with bigger objects like seaweed, for example? Will they swim through it? Will they swim over the ships? Um, we've designed it in such a way that um, the fish shouldn't um, uh, glitch or clip through anything. So um, the, they'll basically above, be above the player. And as long as the player isn't wearing the tallest hat ever, um, I think it'll be OK. But they, they have to wear the uh, diving suit anyway. So I yeah, would commission a taller hat just for you. <laughs> but you'd have to be able to wear it on top of your diving suit. Oh, of course. The swordfish it's helmet. It's coming. It's, it's possible. Just, yeah. just the spike. <laughs> just yeah, up right, the top. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Cody Rocks 24 asks, what kind of supplies will be needed in order to build stuff for the room? Now, this, we're introducing something new to construction, which is that the locations in the aquarium aren't actually uh, items. That, well, sorry, I mean, they're gained from a reward ball, prawn ball. So that is gained by fishing. So you'll be fishing away. Every so often you'll get your little prawn ball. You'll open it up. Ah, I've got myself a White Wolf Mountain. White Wolf Mountain's quite rare. I'm chuffed with this. You know, as you do, White Wolf Mountain. Uh, there's only one. In the palm of the hand. Um, you, you take it onto your aquarium in build mode, chuck it in, and then suddenly you have that extra option in your interface. Hmm. So you can now drop it down persistently and permanently. Um, yeah, so there's subtly different construction, but that doesn't mean we haven't got the traditional construction elements. On the surface of the aquarium we have a few hot spots. I think there's um, five in total. Um, one is the diving suit. The other one is one, one is the diving suit. Another one is the pawn shop or pawn brokers. It's another terrible pun. Of course, yes. A whopper wall, um, a decoration, and something I'm forgetting. The bathosphere itself? No, there's one more. But you, and those use construction items: your planks, right. your your fish bowls, and things like that. Such that Fork. one could perhaps train on them without but having they to do could dungeon indeed. doors over and over again? Yeah, the prawn brokers in particular has been designed to be a viable training method for construction. Okay, so I've got some more questions to come back to a little later on. But first, I thought we'd move on to a brief mention of the new dragons. Now obviously, 
I appreciate you can't talk too much about them just yet because they're in the very earliest. It's stages. crazy early, it really is. But I do know that there is something that you want to establish today. Yep. Uh, you've positioned the adamant dragons already in Brimhaven. There's the, the spiral staircase. Provisionally, that's where we put them. Yep. yep. So that, that's a fairly suitable place to put those. Yeah. But you haven't yet got a space for the rune dragons. And this is where we'd like your help, to be honest. It's um, the Great White Shark, we kind of, the theme of the Great White Shark we pitched in a previous live stream poll. Indeed. And that one, um, not that you know it because we didn't actually reveal the results in time, but we're getting better at that. Um, it's but in my running order. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the idea of kind of polling it here would be really useful. Um, we're at a desi design overview stage, and what Stu is looking for a location for the Adamantite Dragons, uh, sorry, the Runite Dragons. Um, so if you could help us, we've got kind of five locations to go through, and they're all kind of suitable for kind of Dragonkin themes. Okay, so we'll, we'll link this to you very shortly, but first we'll, we'll run through the options. Yep. Uh, option one will be Ancient Cavern. Yep. Obviously Ma where the Mithril Dragons already are. Exactly, Dragon Forge. You've got a number of things in there that relate to dragons. It does make some kind of sense. But obviously, um, if it is located near the Dragon Forge, you've got quite the quest requirement there, so keep that in mind. Fair enough, yeah. Uh, option two, Brimhaven Dungeon alongside the Adamantite it might be Iron Steel. You want ultra convenience. You want to have your Adamantite Dragons next to your Runite Dragons in that way. Okay. Uh, option three is the Grotworm Lair, where the QBD obviously very nearby. Yeah, if you come kin link. If you come back from the QBD's lair, you'll see a kind of a spiral staircase with a dragon kin. If you symbol, maybe down there is where we have our Runite Dragons. Excellent. Option four then, Kethsey. Kethsey's so there. Dragon King Link is, is obvious. Dragon Link, perhaps not so obvious in this case? Yeah, um, the Dragon King went to Kethsey, demolished Keth Kethsey. Spoilers, spoilers. Uh, but they dra the Dragon King are the, one, the creators of the dragons. Maybe they did a little bit of investigation into it on Kethsey. Happened to have some rune handy. Yeah, exactly. Smushed them together. Here's a dragon, here's some rune. That kind of thing. Can that we get, sure can that's we get that works. animation for next? <laughs> 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 that's exactly how we make it. Actually, I, I, that's amazing. It's true. That's our modelling. Well, I think we need a smushing emote. Yeah, that would be <laughs> a smushing good. override. Yeah, for, yeah. We're doing mining. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing what they call feature creep. <laughs> <laughs> and fifth and final option is the Demonheim Peninsula, which obviously Karapak. Yeah, was was nearby. Yeah, you've you got, got it. You've got the frost dragons there as well. Are the frost dragons a result of? Carapax experiments? There, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you can see these as kind of little uh, laboratories or investigation points for Carapax. So he, he might well have been doing it just outside his front door. As it were. Because that's always wise. Building vicious dragons well, you outside your front I mean, door. No, it's is never good. Never build a dragon. You wouldn't do it inside, you would you? You wouldn't no, download you, a dragon. You wouldn't build a dragon <laughs> in your own house. That would just be crazy. That's true. Or so, five options for you. Uh, we've got them in. Got them up and running now. Oh, that's Kethsey, an early leader. Yeah. So uh, obviously, keep in mind, Kethsey would be a ritual of the Majorat requirement. It would have a ritual of the Majorat requirement to get in. Oh. Uh, this is where it's another thing for that question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Post -quest laughs> yeah, it all drops. So keep that in mind. But um, <laughs> it seems like he like another use for Kethsey. Interesting. Excellent. So we'll let that run for a little while. Yep. Um, it's worth noting this isn't a guarantee of what is going to happen. We're really just using this as a straw poll to get a sense. But obviously Great White Shark did you know, set a precedent and did actually create that frog. Hunter. And as we said, it is early days for this yeah. particular update, well, so not much is... Exactly. We've created a design overview, which is a kind of a two-pager. I've given feedback on that, and that's where we are. That's, it, that's exactly where we are. Excellent. So while that runs, I'm just going to give a quick roundup of the most recent Rune Labs uh, standings, because obviously the support has been turned back on for yep. for the ideas for that, and we've currently got in the lead Phil Lumbridge Crater with water, <laughs> and and not just that. What do you think so about that? <laughs> well, uh, I will say that uh, the Guardian team are going to be doing the Christmas update this year. Yes, this, now, this is true. That this update, whichever wins here, will not be coming to you guys. It's for this is very true. Team RS DOS. Yes, so not Chris L's team. Uh, is it not? Not Tim C. Uh, no, it's Tim C. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yes, it, it, this, that one's going to RSDOS. Oh, so, oh. so do feel free to Once promise again, proven Earth wrong live on it for this one. Do do just <laughs> promise everything because you're yeah. not the guys that are going to have to build this. Yeah. So, filling Lumbridge Crater with water and possibly making it some sort of medium level skilling hub, or put in another aquarium. 
and put in another no more, aquarium. No more aquariums. <laughs> it's not, you're not doing it, don't worry. All right, and all don't, the aquariums. Don't actually double this, go for it. <laughs> That'd be hard. But yeah, as you say, it's gonna be, it would be lovely if we got to Christmas. You know, normally is in Lumbridge Crater. What happens at Christmas? Things freeze over. Yep. I'm already seeing it. Ice skating. Oh, it'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Splendid. So that's People currently falling in. in. That's, yeah. that's currently got, uh, last time I looked, 1,241 votes. Great. Following it with 1,081 votes, being able to spend runes for instant lodestone teleports. Obviously very convenient. Sinks another bunch of runes out of the game yeah. to follow Mod Deg's uh, Vizwax machine that he yeah. was so proud of. It's something we've been discussing for a long time because obviously there's some uh, uh, controversy, I guess, over the lodestones, whether or not they're too accessible, whether or not by the way to attack the too much accessibility is whether or not to make them less accessible or whether or not we actually give them a use above and beyond if you contribute runes. So it's really interesting that that is the higher of the two options in the rune poll. I think if that if that won, it would lead to some form of discussion, maybe a, a, a poll on that. Yep. So, I mean, because obviously at the moment the trade-off is you don't spend any runes, but it takes you 10 seconds. Exactly. So exactly, you're right. So it's a question of whether we change that point of balance. Uh, third place then, changing the name of Constitution back to hit points with 932 <laughs> votes. Now, I've got to say, I'm personally very invested in this one because <laughs> every time I type in C-O-N-S-T, yeah. construction <laughs> is first in my mind. And that, yeah. that's, you know, that's a fair amount of autocomplete that's right. to have to work through that. Weirdly enough, the, uh, one of the big reasons why it has been this way is that saying I've lost some hit points can mean or can lead to confusion. Because you, are you losing your hit points stat, or are you losing life points? Because hit points has come to mean two separate things. So I think that's why it moved to constitution. But that's by no means there's by no means a reason that we can get around that. I yeah. think. Besides anything else, we ended up calling the the hit points hit points life points. This is true. Whether or not everybody uses that is another matter. But I, yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. Besides which, no one would say that they've got no life when they. Who would say they've got no life? life? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, 714 people are interested in a herb bag that works like the coal bag or the gem bag, obviously with certain limitations that yep. we've already noted on the thread about how much you could store in it. Yep. Uh, so we already have a herbicide. It does su subtly different things. Um, this is quite useful, <laughs> really quite useful, especially if, like on the idea, there's as many as 20 slots in this bag. So um, I don't think anybody could worry that uh, we w it would be gated behind something or there would be a cost attached. There would be something that a player a hoop to jump through to get it. Sounds fair enough to me. And fifth of the five that I'm going to mention today, removing boss immunities to things like poison, uh, reflect. Obviously, they can't be poisoned. They don't yeah. take reflect damage at the moment. What's your take on that? Um, a few bosses have it as a, um, as a mechanic because, especially with reflect, if they have a poten potential to do a lot of damage to the player and the player can just go, no, it, it, it negates the entire boss fight. Um, in terms of poison, poison has been in and out of favour quite some time now. Um, it's, it's a lot to do with how we have to actually put the mechanics of boss fights in, that we can't allow these things to happen, such as like you can't do surge in a dungeon for, th for things like that, you see. Well, surging in a dungeon would end you up through the wall. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that, you see. So we have to put these sort of checks in place. Yeah. I know that the plan would be largely do a kind of case-by-case -case basis, maybe release a kind of a batch of bosses rather than doing it across the board. That seems fair enough, but certainly there's no reason we couldn't re-examine all of those bosses yeah. and, where possible, put poison back in, put reflect damage back in. Poison's quite weak at the moment anyway, yeah. so there's maybe call for looking into how much damage poison actually does as a part of that and whether yeah. we can make it a little more compelling. Absolutely. Something to talk to uh, Jane Rob John yeah. Pye about. Yes, indeed. Cool. So, after that brief Rune Labs recap, what's next on our list? So. Straw poll still running? Excellent. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. It's still running, though. Kethsey's still winning. Look at that. You all want to go to back to back kind of dust. Extended its place. lead as well. Everyone wants to go back to Kethsey. Yeah. So, one from Paolo here from the forums. What can we do with our friends in the aquarium? It's something we were pushed to explore, actually. We, we recently had a, a sprint review with Mod Pips where he was kind of eager for us to try out more social things that you could do in another person's aquarium. So you can go there. It's worth noting, actually, that, yeah. that you can. But um, there's a, it's a kind of finding that right mechanic. So I, what I was going to do on Thursday, once we'd had that meeting, was actually ask players if they had ideas for what they would want from a kind of community 
aspect. Well, I've seen sure. a couple of ideas in, in Twitch allowing you to steal the fish from other people's tank. Steal them? Uh, are, we, are we back I'm to shark wrestling again? I'm sure people would love Dodge uh, having all their fish jacked off them. Okay. As in hijacked. <laughs> Thank you very much, Twitch chat. <laughs> uh, what is the maximum amount of fish? And can you fish in the aquarium for XP once you've caught that particular fish? Uh, at the moment, there are... I'm going to say there's 13 f I think there's 14. Yeah, I, I can't remember if it's 14 or 15. One it of the two. It, it's it, it's mid-teens. More than a dozen. <laughs> More than a dozen. Dozen, yeah. Um, in terms of actual fishing XP from there, at the moment there is no fishing experience, but certain things you can put in there will grant you bonus experience from fishing in other areas, so such as if you get the, uh, the white wolf mount in the local fishing spots will give you more experience. Excellent. There's also um, lobsters as well, which have just um, just been finished modelled, but um, I don't think they've been animated yet. Yeah. But that, that's another thing. So it's not just fish you'll be able to get. But I know that a lot of people have asked you, where are the fishing trawler fish? There's three fish there. Um, and dungeoneering fish are the two biggies. Yeah. Um, I, I can really see that being a, a batch at some point in the future. If it's popular, you're just trying to test in the waters. Oh! <laughs> if it goes swimmingly, then we can do it. You can't, you can't it. win this. <laughs> I've told you before. <laughs> oh. I need kelp. <laughs> Oh, no, you did <laughs> <laughs> One from Twitter, then. Uh, from Leon Bradley, asking, is there going to be a mod Fishborn to accompany mod Elfborn and mod Osborn, appropriately themed? <laughs> what do we do with every update? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think we should definitely do that. Um, and in my mind, I see it looking exactly like uh, old Greg from the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> so... That is, that is a niche reference that I'm, I'm well on top of. I love that. Um, we, we, every single piece of content that the Guardians seem to do, we seem to insert ourselves into in the nicest way. Um, like <laughs> our names or something about us, like in terms of titles. Um, we might hold back on Aquarium. It depends if we have a bit of time. It, but is, it is smaller than the other projects. 200th done. Quest, we're all over it. Yeah. Go find us. Yes. <laughs> hmm. One from your based on player feedback list that you handed me before the show. Oh. From Glick Esther on the forums. Does the Whopper Wall not step on the toes of the mounted swordfish and shark? Yeah. Sometimes when you put things out to players, you realise you've made a massive error. <laughs> 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 and sometimes sometimes you can lie about it. I feel like <laughs> no, you know you can't. Um, I completely forgot about the big fish and the, the trophy wall. So what we're looking to do um, sorry, you don't know about this yet. <laughs> I'm probably going to be like this in a moment. <laughs> is um, find a way to make it either fit with those trophy fish. So they will have a similar mechanic to those, tr those fish that were already in construction. Um, or they will look very different. A um, little newer, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. So we've just got to be careful it doesn't step on the toes or fins of those. Um, so, yes, it was one of those things where the, I'd love to have the players come in and have a look at des every design document because you guys will find something that we have inevitably done wrong. Well, that's half the point of. It's about one it of two out. errors. Mod Copper pointed out another one where I can't add. Um, I think I go one, two, three, four, four in the perks thought. Yeah, there we go. So there are errors. Keep finding them. Just means you get more perks. That's yeah, why not? It's not? Why not? Balancing fail at all. It's <laughs> generosity. <laughs> or something. No. no. So we're going to go to the results of the straw poll shortly, but before we do that, just time for a quick community roundup. Uh, the community management team would like everyone to know that uh, they will shortly be running, I believe that's, uh, that's today. Oh, no, they haven't given me dates. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. You need to run on with a sheet of paper. I do. Like, need to like in the news. I do need to run on with a sheet of paper. You just did. Yeah. Over <laughs> well, the course of the rest of this week. Yeah. Uh, they will be running a <laughs> community game of Heist with Nina and John, and that will be on World 23. There will be a skill and chill with Lee at uh, 0200 game time Ooh. for the uh, Eastern and Western American seaboard crowd on World 89. And then a trouble brewing community oh, game, trouble World 104 brewing. 11 game time. And you can find what days and what worlds those are on by going to the community home section of the forums and going to uh, the JMod events thread where all of that information will be available. They'd also like everyone to know that the player gallery contest is still up and running and will be open until the 9th of March. The theme is hearts and gold. Hearts and gold. 
So if you want to be in with a chance of getting into the player gallery and winning some sweet prizes, I hope there are prizes, otherwise I'd just promise prizes. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we can find some prizes if there aren't already prizes. Uh, then uh, do get involved in that. Details of how to enter, if you don't already know, are in Community Home under the thread 50th Player Gallery. So, shall we call the uh, straw poll there? Are we then? judging the... Oh, right, okay. So um, it seems by quite a significant number, twice the second place, it's Ketsy with 368 votes. So that's, that's really annoying. That shows a huge, overwhelming kind of favouritism towards Ketsy. That's really useful to us. Can't promise, but that may well be where we go. Well, you do have to. trouble with numbers, don't you? <laughs> Why? What have I done? That's a nine at the end of that. Oh, come on, it keeps changing. It's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me too much. It hasn't moved for a while, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Three six nine, yes. Anyway, it certainly seems the community's voice that is fairly clear on this one. Yeah, yeah, that's really useful. Thank so you. So you can work that into your discussions yeah. of Adam and Rune. Why Dragons. not? Why not? Do we get to do puns now? I think I'm we really should do. Excited about this. I think we should do puns now. The uh, the t RSTV Twitch elves. <sighs> I'm ready. Have given me a winner for best pun is Schnobavon. Oh, with. Schnobbon. Tune in on this fish stream to see new content. Oh. I thought his name was the pun and I didn't get it at first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, my face just gonna... it's, it's good, that. I like that. There's, well, lots, yeah. there's lots in a that. A pun should do that. So, Schnobbavon, you win the lovely purple party hat. We'll get it signed. We'll get it out to, out we to you. We'll sign that. And we'll send you some details Sweet. on how to claim your prize. The worst pun... Okay. No. Oh, What's it going to do to our faces? Can we the worst pun track in on our faces. And yes. winner of I'm this I'm lovely, I'm lovely Eat Sleep Skate Repeat t shirt. How do you. S you wouldn't sleep in that. You keep yourself awake. I, I don't think you are intended to sleep in it. All oh, right, okay. I, I think, think this is for the 24 hour life. Yeah. Season, so, <laughs> what the word sleep is even doing that is okay. yeah. Yeah. beyond me. But anyway, without further ado, from stealthy underscore 91. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Winner of the worst pun for this fish based stream. Not bad. Cod do batter. Oof. I'm out. Ooh. I've broken our production desk. <laughs> good, good job, Stealthy91. Your puns have actually just cracked up our video, <laughs> audio, and chat uh, production guys over there. So, good job, I think. So, we'll be it's in well touch via direct message to tell you how to claim your prize. And I think that's about all we've got time for this week. So uh, thank you very much, all of you, for coming on and showing off some sweet models and some sweet customization options. And thank you, Dave, for telling us all about Dragons. what it's going to be. Yes, indeed. It's a joy being here. And thank you all very, and guys very much for joining us on this stream. Obviously, we'll be around next week to talk about even more shiny, cool stuff. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>